I stumbled upon an article that highlighted my exact reasons for targeting those that pedestalize the allure of women the other day. There's a website I found called Tube Crush, and the link's in the description box. And this is a website where women in the UK use their cell phones to take pictures of unsuspecting men on their daily train commute, and then they upload it so that other women can rate these men based on their physical attractiveness. And there's pages and pages of these men that were unbeknownst to them uploaded onto this website. Let that sink in for a moment and imagine the incredible howls of protest for feminists if men were illegally posting pictures of women taken on the subway without their knowledge for the purposes of judging their looks. Any men that did this will fall squarely into the character of the weirdo subway pervert, but, but men, we seem to have this blasé, nonplussed attitude about it, and as a matter of fact, many men are probably flattered to be judged favorably on this website. And what does that tell us? It tells us that many men are so damn fixated on the allure of women that they don't have the common sense anymore to even protest this type of behavior from women. Any sort of male objectification is okay as long as it affirms to the men in question that some woman somewhere finds him desirable. The male ego and its constant need for female validation is just backwards. That's the only way I can describe it. And it's through this blasé attitude that many men have, this, this anything goes if it's a female I like attitude that gets us into so much trouble and the gender double standards we're in today. Women have picked up on the fact that men will accept any form of dysfunctional courtship from women, and that has created an environment where females have completely removed the possibility of female perversion from the general consensus. And they've used this assumption of the all-encompassing power of the allure of women, as our PUA friends like to call it, to leverage our society into not punishing female pedophiles. This is how we got to that point. I mean, who are we to question the allure of women? That 13-year-old boy just lived out every high school boy's fantasy when his 30-year-old teacher had sex with him. You see, perhaps now we can see why the unquestioned, veritable worship of the allure of women is in fact damaging to men and boys. Because it allows women to get away with anything in the name of courtship and we accept it as men. Feminists have used this concept to decriminalize almost completely all instances of female perversion and to tell men to tell men what they enjoy sexually and to repress their ability, men's ability, to highlight female sexual pathology. And the worst part is that so many male vagina addicts are okay with this. I mean, our society tells us that a 13-year-old boy couldn't possibly not enjoy a sexual liaison with his school teacher, but a 13-year-old girl is incapable of liking it at all. You know why that works? Because of the damn near goddess worship of all things pertaining to women by these thirsty ass manginas and PUAs, and it's hit a fever pitch, and this dysfunction has now progressed to the point that women are free to court men with this reckless abandon, knowing that our society will allow it because it assumes that men are under this euphoria whenever a female bats an eyelash at them, and for the most part, they'd actually be right on that. This is why it's so important that men learn to control their need for sex. This isn't about asking men to take a damn vow of celibacy. This is about commandeering male sovereignty. There needs to be a rejection of those that tell us that women are allowed to decide anything for men, period. This is how the false rape accusation, the domestic violence accusations, and all the other lies that are taken for granted when emanating from the mouth of women have gotten to the point where nobody can even think to question them. I mean, it could, it could be even a, a, just a remotely attractive and, and even an ugly chick. And this allure of women bullshit makes us ask ourselves, this girl can get whoever she wants. She can get any guy she wants. Why would she lie about being raped? I'm, you know, I'm making it my personal responsibility to tell all these female slash vagina addicts all about themselves. And I'm sick of them, and I'm sick of white knights and these PUA manginas. You're all the same shit to me, and whenever I come across your cowardice, I'm going to show everybody what you really are. You're not fooling me. I know exactly what you're doing. That's all I got to say about it.